Friends Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday. Signing this trade deal today uh, with China. Um, and then we have some uh, inflation data out of the UK. These are sort of the uh, talking points for the day. Let's take a look on what's going on here. Uh, this is dollar CNH. Uh, looks to have turned um, yesterday. Nice little tail today, higher high. I wonder if this is the first of uh, sort of the bigger turn pieces uh, that we think might be happening in risk. Uh, we'll have to see. Also, Bitcoin yesterday we talked about it. Uh, it's time to dip your toe back into the Bitcoin. Um, no point in waiting down at 5,500. We think this thing um, is going to attack this uh, 10,500 area. Uh, in the coming weeks, so core long Bitcoin uh, is on the books here as of yesterday. Gold turned also yesterday, very much like the dollar CNH chart. Uh, printed down to 37, but really couldn't couldn't get out of its uh, Couldn't get out of its sort of sideways consolidation uh, mode, which is where we are right now. So I mean, on the on the wide, it looks like we're sort of 1520, 1580. I don't think we're going anywhere too fast, but um, this will be consolid consolidatory. Is that a word? So we'll see consolidation here the next probably next couple of weeks, um, depending on how the news flow goes. Equities, we did a doji. Uh, is this by the rumor sell the fact on the trade deal? I don't know. Uh, I do know that equities have been going down oddly, um, a little bit easier than they have been recently. So, price action to the left hand side has been a little bit more slippery, um, even though we're, we're still in this massive uptrend. Uh, we kind of talked about it yesterday. We had this feeling, this intuition that the uh, S and P's were going to get slapped. That did not come to fruition. Twenty uh, thirty-two sixty really is kind of down through there. Uh, we should start getting some sort of um, pressure, uh, some bearish pressure until we get down through there. You don't want to really get too excited. Um, one of the things we've learned over the years is even when you have strong intuition. Um, it's not enough. You need story and you need price confirmation. So intuition is the beginning of it. Uh, usually it's intuition and price uh, that gets you going. And then the story often happens after the fact. But intuition alone uh, is never enough. Anyway, let's take a look at Euro. Um, we talked yesterday about this idea that we think this Euro is going to just sort of I would say grind higher. Uh, no evidence of that yet. We're totally in consolidation here. Yesterday was, I would say, a bearish day in a sense. It was kind of cleansing to the downside with the 05 print. Now we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, Euro crosses all. Euro yen doji. Um, Euro CAD, we were talking about. Didn't really also doji. Um, Euro sterling actually went down because cable went higher. Um, Euro Aussie also dogeed. So neutral day for all of these Euro crosses that we were talking about yesterday. We have our eye on this. Uh, and this theme, Euro Swiss, uh, got plunged on um, what we thought was, you know, sort of silly news um, about the US watching Switzerland as a currency manipulator total horseshit that um, but you can't deny Euro Swiss is in this incredible downtrend here since the 110 20 bar I mean that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 I don't know 30 30 days uh, of lower highs basically so 
not sure what's going on in Euro Swiss. Normally, that's not a good sign um, for the world when you see uh, people piling into the Swiss franc. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. As far as the end crosses are concerned, also interesting dojis. Aussie yen doji at 90. We've already made a new daily low. Um, CAD yen. We actually like CAD yen as a trade today lower. Uh, we're short CAD yen. We're going to add through 04. A little bit of a sort of a trap, this 04, because you're running right into this 93 support. So it's not going to be like one of these bang, bang, big break trades, but it is sort of a core short. Let's keep our eyes out on global risk. So if global risk does turn, uh, Cad Yen looks like a good little horse there. Uh, if you want to ride that baby. And finally, let's take a look at this sterling. We have uh, inflation today. All the analysts are saying it's too early for the BOE to be dovish. So uh, higher inflation today will will. Uh, cause this thing to jump. I don't really know what to do with it. The chart's not really telling me anything. Um, obviously a big miss on the downside. Uh, 129.50 will then open up for 129. This is kind of the real uh, important point, 129 the figure. We probably won't, will not be playing until we see 129. Uh, and the corollary to that is uh, 86 cents in euro sterling. Now we have a triple top up there, 86. So that'll be an interesting moment if we do get some sort of flush in sterling, 86 cents and 129. 129 in cable, 86 cents in the cross. Take a look at bonds, not doing much. Uh, Boons, same thing just consolidation um, so you know let's not make today into anything more than it is we do have this inflation number out in the UK w which will be watched we've got industrial production out in the uh, in Europe we got GDP growth forecasts out in Germany retail sales out in South Africa we get a lot of sort of medium type numbers PPI out in America nobody gives a crap about that anymore page book late today um, equities are going to be driving it today and, and this is where the vol is going to be we'll see how much of this uh, trade deal is published uh, by law it does not have to be published into the public sphere uh, so We'll just have to see what the rhetoric is. On paper, the trade deal looks very, very good. Um, how we're going to enforce this deal, how b both sides are going to enforce this deal is the huge question. Is it enforceable? Or is it just, you know, some sort of fancy, fancy cluster of words that actually don't really mean anything? Uh, we'll have to see on that. The jury's out. Um, there's a little bit of risk off in the air, overstretched in the air. Overnight, uh, Trump was attacking Apple for not uh, helping with open up the phones. That's never really a good sign for risk in general when Apple's being attacked. Um, but it's not serious enough to really sink our, sink our teeth into yet. Uh, we'll just have to see. This dollar yen um, now is just kind of not sure what to do. Obviously, this daily trend line that we drew yesterday, I don't even want to bother drawing it again today, comes in at 22. That's an interesting point on the top side. Uh, we've made a lower daily low today, but nothing really important. This 109.70 will be the key. Down through 109.70, dollar yen top side is off. But as long as we're above 109.70, dollar yen top side is on. So dollar yen itself is not rolled over. Uh, Euro yen is not acting like Euro Swiss. Dollar yen is not acting like dollar Swiss. Uh, it is not showing risk off. It's just showing neutral. 
So let's watch this closely in the coming days. Um, the surprise trade in dollar yen is higher now. Everyone, uh, like ourselves, is beginning to doubt this rally. Um, there might be a few shorts nibbling out there. Here we're talking about short CAD yen. Um, this is calling a turn, which is which is incredibly dangerous. You know, the trend is your friend. It's easier to trade with the trend than to call a turn. So just be cautious out there and look both ways. Uh, and I would say get ready for a scratch and claw type trading day. Just try and put some positive numbers on the paper. I don't think anything is going to go crazy today. So patience uh, is the key. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, good luck out there, people. Uh, if you like our stuff, subscribe, click, click thumbs up or whatever. I don't know. They, they want you to click some crap and do some stuff. And Many of you who are out there listening know what I'm talking about. Um, and if you don't, and you're like a Luddite like I am, um, don't worry about it. Anyway, talk to you guys all tomorrow. Ciao.